Season's greetings. Season. We're so happy to be with you tonight. Oh, we're so happy to be. We get to collect together, even if it's in this virtual hug space. So we want to start out with a little holiday love. And so take your right hand and fold it over your left shoulder and take your left hand and fold it over your right shoulder and give yourself the love that we would love to squeeze you with. But best love is love of yourself. So mm, have a little hug for all the things you've gone through and been through. Happy holidays. Today we want to hold space for you as a sister that's a high achiever that all you want to do is give the best of yourself to yourself and to everyone around you. And we know that can come at a price. And so there can be a myriad of emotions that can come up in the process of trying to make the happiest season of the year happen. Right, Jessica? <laughs> And so we, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. And so we <laughs> talked about it. We're like, you know, really, if you're really being honest in this season, there is joy and love and bliss. And there is anger, rage, and disappointment. And there is grief and sadness and loneliness. And so this is going to be just like a seven minute holding of us coming together and helping you to navigate with some unexpected modalities that you may have never heard before, or it's been a minute since you've been reminded, because sometimes we do great things and then we forget, right? How many of you all have comment below if you have done great things and then you forget to do them and someone reminds you and go, I used to do that, it was great. Comment below if you've ever done that or if that's just me. Help us to know we're normal. Hi, Kimberly. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so please let us know. Okay, so today is going to be about holiday joy and bliss. Today, we're going to focus on all things love. And so we'd love to hear from you about any holiday joy. What is something that brings you joy in the holiday season? And I don't know what you're celebrating, but your holiday season might be right now. Your holiday season may be in the future. What do you love in your holiday season? Please comment that so we can enjoy that as well. Um, so Jessica, when we were talking, you were saying that there were many modalities and we're going to focus on one in particular today so how many are there yeah. and what are you focusing on today as we talk about joy so so look let's just macro up hover up and just look at this from the sky and let's just look consciously at the full range of emotions that we carry as human beings and society wise we've tended to minimize certain types of emotions or put more importance on certain emotions, calling some bad mm. and some good. Mm. And so the first part of the awareness or this little holiday tip is what if we were just to remove any good or bad reference point and simply just an acknowledgement, this is an emotion right wow. so in it and in that same frame imagine if every emotion is just holds a space on a spectrum of light mm. so some have more light in them mm -hmm. and others are a little bit denser a little bit more in the shadow not mm -hmm. good or bad wow just in that spectrum of light. All needed, all necessary, all valid, right? all deserve attention. Is this a new idea for you guys? Is this a new idea? We'd love to hear if this is a new idea. Yeah. Yeah. Where you going with that? And so now, how do we start? If we have that new, let's call it a reframe. Um, if we choose to go into the holiday season with this new reframe, how can we become a little bit more present and conscious and aware that what emotion is coming up for us and how can we stay present with it? And so they're really the fastest way to make friends with that emotion in a non-judgmental way. Make friends, I love that, okay is to look at it from one of five spaces. So 
you can just go, okay, joy, back to what Roy, what you were saying, you know, what, what triggers joy for you in the holidays? And when you close your eyes, you think of joy or love or bliss, mm. just close your eyes, feel that word descend around you mm. and start to just imagine and if you don't have an imagination in this space just guess and play with us right no good or bad no right or wrong and just start to feel where does that emotion land in my body where does joy come from is it in my hips is it in your belly with laughter is it does it come emanate from your heart is it in your wrist and for each one of us, this the, the each emotion can live in a different place at different times mm -hmm. when we experience it. So recognizing this is where really it lives. A whole body awareness of emotion. Right? Just feeling it here. But you're talking about the livingness of this energy that's emotional. Yeah. That's, Roy, that's such a beautiful distinction you've just made. This thing of just feeling it here. Like we're, we're so conditioned to just experience or perceive we experience from our mental, mental acuity. Mm -hmm. But what if we scanned a little bit more? This is what we're talking about. Like the feminine, we've been taught so much about masculine acuity of defining, of articulating, of everything has to have a name. And while that has its space, we have so undervalued just expressing, just feeling, just emoting. And that's some things we will we'll go into more. Yeah. If two more in this series of the series of the more dense emotions, like you were saying, not the dark, but the yeah. dark. And so the fastest way, if we go back to how can we access each of these emotions, if we haven't necessarily given them as much space or the fine tuning in that emotion, there is a difference between shame and rage or grief and desire these small nuances wow. so wow. body first of all one of the fastest ways to drop in is ask yourself where does this emotion live in my body and i'll just read them i'll, I'll, I'll share them all five first and today we're going to focus on body the second one is when you figured out okay in my body does it have a color? Mm -hmm. Like you'll start to define that these emotions actually carry a very different color. Mm -hmm. So joy for me Guys, is very- Giving your emotion a color, have you ever done that before? And if you have, yeah. what color would you give yes. for your bliss of yes. your own body? Okay, sorry, yeah. continue. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Roya. I am so curious to hear what the feedback is. The other third one is the texture in your body. Mm -hmm. So when you imagine that, does that have like, is it dense, like knitted? Is it rippled? Is it airy? Is it light? Is it spacey? Yeah. Oh, no. Right? Wow. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think joy for me, it feels like almost like a tingly electricity. Is that, is that a, is that a, what you're that's describing? It. Absolutely, Roy. That's absolutely it. So for you, it's sounding like tonight in this moment, yeah. it's more ethereal and alive. It almost feels playful to me when yeah. you're moving your yeah. fingers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I feel Some, for me. I feel joy, like for right now, like you said, in this moment, because it's not always. I love this because you guys. How many of y'all have children, and you could say, "Oh, you feel so happy. Where do you feel it in your body? What color does it have? How does it? What is? How would you describe the? What did you say? The texture of it. Yeah. I just love the. Now we're creating really emotionally aware humans yeah. around us. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we have and so, and you know what's so perfect is just as you, you describe that, that scenario with your kids. And by the way, kids love to do this. They're, they're, they're so free. 
Yeah. yeah, they're so free. They just love to experiment in this area. But there's something that you did is you your voice changed it. The sound of your voice changed. And so the sound of that emotion, joy, is it like got a lighter, freer, kind of like, is it more high pitched? Right. Yeah. Okay, so now so yeah so that's the fourth way that you can figure out this emotion and 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 find a way to just become aware of it and give it some space to breathe mm. yeah give it some space to be and the fifth and the final one is movement mm. so again with this in the feminine we we've been kind of like i don't know conditioned by society to be very in our masculine, very in our head, very action orientated. The mm -hmm. feminine is all about the curves, the intuitive mind, the lunar cycles, mm -hmm. the tides. Mm -hmm. And so having that awareness of where is it in my body and okay, is there a movement in that? Yeah. And find a different range with the different emotions. So that's the quick and fast, easy way in. I love yeah. it. By the way, the noise you guys are hearing are some beautiful, what kind of frogs? They're whistling tree frogs. Whistling tree frogs in Barbados. I mean, let's give a little round of applause for whistling tree frogs. I want whistling tree frogs. I was like, what is that? Oh, wow. Well, now you tell me it's whistling tree frogs. Doesn't that change the, uh, the, the acceptance and the love of that sound? Like before it was like... So what is the that? meaning, it, it just taught me so much about the meaning, Jessica, in that moment, it went from agitation to adoration. Right. By the meaning alone. Okay, now I can go, oh, I really like it now because before it was like, shut up noise. Now it's like, ooh, romantic. <laughs> the meaning is everything. Okay, so end conclusion for this section for today. Yes. When we're talking about doing these different modality um, um, you know, awarenesses for our emotion, today we're talking about a light one. We're talking about the love and the joy of the holiday season. How is this, when we, and we were going to focus in on the body today, right? Yes. How is this going to help us in joy and, and in those blissful feelings um, in this season in the, in the body part? How is that going to add to our yeah so everything's awareness isn't it and it's a celebration of our capacity and our emotional range our emotional capacity as human beings and if this simplest thing from getting in your car and hearing a song that you love from the from i don't know the 90s the 80s the 70s and it's just like it brings so just becoming aware where does that live in your body don't complicate it nothing's right nothing's wrong it's just simply it's like okay where is this today that's it and does it allow you then when you play with it in your body do you find that it allows you to expand that joyful moment even more or to be able to call it back when you're not feeling so joyful absolutely absolutely because you start to recognize that our bodies carry patterns or you know generally joy will live 70% of the time in one place in our bodies. Rage will live 70% in one area of our bodies. So this is, it's almost like dialing up, tuning in our frequency yeah. with ourselves. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I've been learning recently, like joy for me lives a lot in my heart. Yeah. And so I want to call that feeling of peace of patience of love of joy i intentionally will do a physical thing and breathe love into my heart and go oh. to memory of love go to like for me it's like instant like insta love is i think i think of my children and these beautiful moments i've had and the births and so forth and so that just expands and then once that expands then you can play in that arena a little bit more i just love this so much you know we are getting together you and i are partnering right yeah and we decided like this is the, some things you just can't do through a screen some things you just have to collect you have to intertwine you have to feel the heartbeat do you guys know that women different than men biologically 
hormonally, physically pattern their heartbeats with each other when they're in the same room, unless they're a wounded feminine, that the feminine literally will get in that much sync, not just their period, yeah. but their heartbeat. And so can you imagine being in the space of other women who desire to elevate, to love, to That's express, beautiful. to bring out more of their own femininity and heal the wounds of other traumas that might've happened from other females and uncover the buried spaces where their rage, their anger, their disappointment, their grief, their sadness has lived. And we're going to do these modalities that are so uncommon mm. and right, Jessica, so flipping effective that yeah. we're just gonna okay we're gonna create a COVID conscious boutique size which means 50 30 to 50 women maxed out in Atlanta I gotta show you guys what we did we decided this is our first event coming together she and I but we did not want to slight it we're just like no we're going to, we've got to give these women a full expression of an experience yeah. and so for that reason uh, we went all out. We um, took a risk on knowing that we all need this in our hearts. And we're going to be at the Grand Whitley Hotel in the Buckhead area of, um, of Atlanta. It's a very prestigious, gorgeous property. This property has been newly renovated. So you can take it from a moment of, of you know, personal growth to also knowing that you're telling your body in 2022, my body is free. My body is feminine. My body is masculine. Yeah. My body is luxurious. I live in abundance and opulence and love and freedom and expression and connection. And so that's what we decided to do is bring you guys a space that would physically remind you about where, where it is and what you want yeah. to do. So we'll share more with you all, but you can go to she-nest.com and there is a section called Uncaged Live, January, 2022. We invite you to check out the flyer. Honestly, mm -hmm. both Jessica and I don't feel like the flyer expresses our, our event. Um, that's why we also wanted to come to you because it's so hard to take a masculine modality called paper and show a feminine freedom of aliveness. <laughs> and so we've got some descriptors, but we also have a place that you go, you know what? I'm not sure. Here's frequently asked questions, hold my place. So there's a hold my place so I can figure out. And there's also book a free 30 minute discovery call. And Jessica and I are very much into making sure people don't waste their time, their money, and that we freaking deliver. Both of us are deliverers, right, Jessica? Like we yeah. both believe in making a deep difference. And we do this as a, as like the second part of our lives, because it's been a calling for us. So we're going to um, be really honest with you. And if we need to point you a different direction, we will. And if we feel like this is an alignment for you, we will share yeah. that with you and you make your own educated decision. So we will see you tomorrow. Same space, different time. Look at the flyer in the post in this community. We're just looking forward to now taking you through the denser emotions that are going to yeah. come. Tomorrow is going to be a really, really important emotion that is really for women especially denied. And for myself, it was something that I tried to hide my entire life. I was terrified of it. Mm. And it's only when I started finding expression through my body, through sound and movement with this emotion, that it's almost like my feminine started to rise. So tomorrow evening, same time. No, different time. Tomorrow. Different, yes, different time. You're right, Roya. Yes, different, different time. time. We're in our feminine right now. This chick, you guys, is one of the greatest <laughs> business beasts on the planet. <laughs> I met her through Tony Robbins, invest $120,000 in that experience, I sit next to her on a bus. And she's talking in a language that I have to act like I understand everything she's saying and the work she's doing. I'm like, oh, oh, oh yes, the, uh, the economy and the blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I, don't, I think I'm gonna have to go over here to Google. Right, yes, yes. Conversation. <laughs> Freaking beast. Yeah. And alive and so all right tomorrow we're gonna see you guys at um 9 a.m eastern 
Yeah, 6 a.m. Pacific. Don't worry, it'll be recorded here, but we love your feedback. Right. Thank you to those of you that commented in the section. If you're watching the feedback, please do so also. It's such a gift to us. We're just here to serve you. God bless. God bless. See you tomorrow. Blessings.